So I went through medical school and I went through a training in surgery and then all of a sudden I, I, I said, I, I cannot carry it for 40 years. It's not me. I liked it, it was nice, but, but I, I feel that I, I, I want to do something else. I didn't know even what to do. But I felt, and then I said, you know, I liked biochemistry and I was a medical student, I'll go and do training in biochemistry and I see whether I fall in love with it. And at rather late age, I was more than 30, I was 32 when I started my career in science. So I am a very late bloomer in terms of decision making, but I decided that I must do it. Of course, I had a wife at the time, I had a son, and I consulted with my wife, and my wife told me, do whatever you think you should do. So I stopped becoming a doctor. I stopped becoming a doctor, stopped bringing a salary home, and instead I started to pay tuition fee. So instead of bringing money, I sucked money out of my saving and paid my tuition fee unless, until my institute was generous enough to give me a fellowship. But it took them time to procrastinate on that. So, um, so I did it. It's not an advice that I give people. I said, oh, you know, this guy is smarty. He got the Nobel Prize. He can talk of whatever he wants. I did it because I felt I could be a very successful doctor, or successful at least. But I felt that it's not going to fulfill me for the, for the long-term future. And I should do something that I love. And at the end, I found my love. So I guessed right. But people should change, even if they make a mistake. It's better not to make a mistake. But even if they make, not a, it's not a mistake. If they feel that they are not comfortable with, and they are being dragged and that, change. Just change.